you probably just watched a short video on internet router. So I just thought I'd show you a quick uh, couple images here that show you some of the major connections in the world. Uh, things to point out here, right? It's not actually showing the connections here in Canada or the US, right? It's So you know you're looking at the major ones that are linking countries and major areas. You can see here, yes, cables do go underwater for huge distances. Neat little topic to look up how they do that. And you'll notice some countries have lots of connections coming in, like Canada and the US and Europe. And some countries only literally have one cable coming in. So if the one cable comes in and something goes wrong with it, a bad, bad connection, something breaks, literally their internet is down. So that's sort of a neat diagram there. You can look up for some others that have more detail. We talked about routers. Routers can come in all sizes. If you have one for your home that branches off to a couple of computers, it's probably really small, right? Like smaller than your laptop. It probably just sits there on your desk, right? Splitting the signals out. You probably have one that's called a wireless router. The ones that do that major internet work, they're more like rooms of routers. So they're big towers that look like this, right? That fill up a room. This is uh, Shaw and their major backbone in Canada, uh, just to give you an idea. Notice there's not that many major branch points for Canada. Why? Because our cities are very spread out. So you don't have so much of a web, right? Like a spider's web of a thousand connections. But do keep in mind that these are the major connections. Once you reach a, like a major point, you start getting this happen. So you'll see here a major point branches off into sub routers, right? And local communities and cities. And then they branch out to neighborhoods and the neighborhoods branch out to apartment buildings and houses. So uh, when we've been looking at these maps that have the major points, you gotta keep in mind, this keeps splitting up and splitting up and splitting up until it's into every single house in almost every neighborhood that has internet access. This diagram here, this one was just released by MIT. These are the major backbone routers of the US. So if you look, that is a map of the United States with their major routers. So from every major router, then it splits up to get to not so big routers and to towns and cities and you get that whole splitting up effect that you just saw before. But these are the major routers of the backbone which have the highest speeds of the internet, right? So quite a network. That's really all the pictures for this one. Just thought I'd throw those in there.